Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a Pareto chart in Power BI. Pareto principle states that 80% of the effects come from the 20% of the causes. So now let's jump into PBX file and with the help of some sample data, let's try to build the chart. So here is the PBX file and for the sake of time, I've added two visuals here. One is the table and the other one is line and cluster column chart. So before we start to build the Pareto chart, I just want to show you the data. So we have a flat data model here with three columns. One is product, failures, and model category. So I'm going to use the product to calculate the cumulative total. And then based on that cumulative total, we are, we are going to calculate the cumulative percentage of brand total. And then using that measure, we are going to build a Pareto chart. So as you can see here, I have one measure which I've already created, which is nothing but the sum of fact failures. So I'm going to create a one more new measure called as cumulative total equal to, I'm going to create a new variable to filter my data. So I'll call this as V underscore failure, which is nothing but the fact data failure. And then return calculate, I need the fact date of failures filtered by, I need to make sure uh, the entire table is selected. So I'm gonna use all selected, fact data, and then filter the like data failures, and it is greater than or equal to. So the measure which we just created, that is V underscore failure. So hit enter. So now if I bring this to the values here, you should be able to see the cumulative total. Once we have this cumulative total, I need to get the cumulative total percentage. So how do I do that? I'll just copy this so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. So just give it a couple of seconds. I'll copy this. I did not get copied. So I just copied it back to a new measure called it as cumulative total percentage. So to calculate the cumulative total percentage, what I have to do is I need to divide this cumulative total by the a denominator, right? In this case, the denominator is the total of all the failures. So how do I do that? I'm gonna create a new measure, sorry, a new variable called failure total equal to calculate back data failure filter is all selected fact data. So once I have this, I'm gonna use this and divide by the new variable. Hit enter. So now if I bring this here, you should be able to see the cumulative total percentage. Convert this into a percentage. So here we go. And now with this cumulative total percentage, I can just drag it to the line values. So here we go. So we have the Pareto chart and it's dynamic. So if I select a different model, so it automatically changes based on your selection. So pretty straightforward. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any doubts or questions, please drop me a note in the comment section. Thanks for watching.